the double V crochet stitch. This might actually be your next go-to crochet stitch. The double V crochet stitch is one that I could absolutely see becoming one of your go-to crochet stitches. It is so incredibly versatile. There's so many different things that you can make with it, like a scarf, a shawl, a beanie, uh, a top of any kind, a basket, a purse. Uh, you could make a blanket. You could make gloves, shorts. There's so many different things that you can do with this stitch. It's very easy to work with and it's very beautiful. It looks complicated, but it's not. And I can't wait to share with you how to do this stitch. Now the level of this crochet stitch, I'm going to label as an advanced beginner crochet stitch because of the placement of the stitches. All we, all we are really working with here are double crochet stitches and chains, but it's where we put those double crochet stitches that I think may confuse an absolute beginner. So that's why I'm saying an advanced beginner crocheter. All right, the terminology I'm using for the double V crochet stitch is US terminology. So when I'm referring to the stitches that we are using, it's all US terminology. The multiple stitch count requirement for the double V crochet stitch is a multiple of two plus two. Now, Tiffany, why don't you just say a multiple of two if it's a multiple of two plus two? Well, here's what they were trying to get across. They want you to work up as many chains as it takes to meet width dimension of whatever project you are making and make sure that chain count is in a multiple of two. Once you have hit that dimension, then chain two more for your turning chain to get onto row one. That's it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So starting with a tail long enough for you to weave in your ends at the end of the project, however long you need that tail to be, go for it. Create your slip knot, attach your crochet hook, and we are ready to go. So I'm just going to make a small little swatch so I can just use it as an example to get through each step quicker with you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I'll stop there at sixteen and then plus two for my turning chain. One, two, awesome. We are now ready for row one. For row one we are going to make two double crochet stitches in the fourth chain from our crochet hook. So looking at our V-stitches, one, two, three, four. Make two double crochets. One, two, great. That missing or skipped three chains here does count as our first double crochet stitch and will help to keep our side squared off. Skip the next chain and make two double crochet stitches in the, in the following chain. So skip one, two double crochets. One, two. Skip one, two double crochets. One, two. Repeat this pattern all the way across row one and I will meet you at the end of row one to show you how we end row one and move on to row two. One, two. All right, at the end of row one, we skip the next chain and in the very last chain, we make one double crochet stitch. And what that will do is it will make those sides straight. So lay that down and you got those straight sides, which all of us really, really love. Okay, moving on to row two. Start by chaining three. One, two, three. Turn our work. Now that chain three does count as our very first double crochet stitch. Okay, so the very first stitch that we make for row two will be two double crochet stitches between the two double crochet stitches of the row below. We are making a V inside a V, okay? So I'm gonna actually take my fingers and I'm gonna put them on the sides of the V stitch so that way I can separate my work and really make this easy to see. You're gonna yarn over, insert your crochet hook between the two double crochet stitches from the row below, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Great, there's one double crochet and same space, 
to double crochet for your V-stitch, just like that. Then find your next V-stitch. Make two double crochet stitches between those two double crochet stitches. One, two. Find your next V-stitch, make your V-stitch between those double crochets. One, two. And that's it. That's all we're doing for row two. So go ahead and finish row two, and then I'll show you how we end row two and get on to row three. All right, coming to the end of row two. So one, two. To close off row two, we will make one double crochet stitch in the top turning chain or that third chain that we used to get to the next row. So making one double crochet stitch. And that will help us to make the sides of our blanket straight. Super important stitch right there. All right, and that is really the repeat row for the rest of the project. You just repeat row two. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and work row two one more time with you for row three. Kind of just start it and end it so you can have a more firm understanding of what's happening. And then I think you understand and got the, the double V stitch. It's super easy and it's beautiful. So again, we start by chaining three. One, two, three, turn our work. We will make our two double crochet stitches between the two double crochet stitches of the row below. One, two, find the next V stitch or the next two double crochet stitches. One, two. All right, let me go ahead and work my way across row three and I'll show you how, how I end row three. Right at the end of row three here, we end the row, we will end every single row by making one double crochet stitch in the third chain or the top turning chain that we use to, to get to the next row from the row below. And that helps square everything away. Now, if you don't make your turning chain at all, you just stop with your Vs, you're gonna see that significant stair step, that significant gap that is angling this way. If you go ahead and make your double crochet stitch in just this hole, opposed to making it in the stitch, which you technically could, you really could just, here, let me do that again with you. After you make your V-stitch, instead of looking for the third chain here, you just make a stitch here in this open space. I mean, you technically could, however, you will be left with kind of this overlap on the side. See how it's kind of, it's not perfectly straight. It's got more of this kind of C. This side looks a little bit further out. Now this side will end up doing the same thing and seeing and seeing and seeing. So it won't be a perfectly straight side like this, but it'll still work. And if you throw a border on it, it'll be fine. But if you really want that straight side, Look for that third chain, one, two, three, and double crochet in that. Now look what happens. It squared it off. It made it straight. So that's completely up to you. I'm gonna let you decide what you do. But that is how you will end every row and just work every row in, as row two. And when you have worked up a couple different rows, this is what it is going to look like. And literally, if I stretch this out, it's just a V-stitch inside of a V-stitch inside of a V-stitch inside of a V-stitch. It just kind of travels upward. That's, that's all it really is when you really simplify and break down the stitch. So it's super cool and very easy to do. And it's one of those stitches that's also really therapeutic and calming. And you could really just take this stitch and watch a TV show and not even think twice about it, which is a really good go-to stitch for most of us who are just trying to relax. <laughs>
All right, so again, this is called the Double V Crochet Stitch. If you'd like to go to my website, crochetwithtiffany.com, and grab yourself your stitch card, go ahead and do that. Again, I printed on cardstock, so it was a little firmer, harder. I'm gonna go ahead and staple my little swatch to it, so that way I have a reference. I highly encourage you to actually give this stitch a try because it's a lot of fun, and it looks really, really pretty effortlessly. I will also have the pattern for the double V stitch located on my website as well if you want to just, again, collect these patterns and have them easy on hand. Thank you so much for watching my video, crocheting with me. Give it a try, have some fun. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please push that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already so you don't miss my upcoming videos. I have some awesome ones you're not gonna wanna miss out. Check out my membership program if you'd like to support my channel and get a little bit more out of my channel and everything I have going on. If you liked this stitch, let's keep it going. Check out all of my other crochet stitches by watching this playlist right here or watch this video, which is a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, guys. I will see you with the next one. Bye.